26 going beyond the headlines after Portland city leaders and cannabis business owners and advocates came together to discuss inequity in the cannabis industry. Commissioner Joanne Hardesty is calling for restorative justice. Emma Jerome joins us live after speaking with one local business owner about this issue. What's at stake here, Emma? Morning, Ken. Emily, marijuana has been recreationally legal here in Oregon for eight years now, but even today, these restorative justice advocates and city leaders say things are far from equitable, and now we need to move forward in a way that tries to repair that. Jesse Horton owns Loud Cannabis and works towards fairness in the growing industry. He says programs and people along the way helped him get into growing, but for many black cannabis users from before state legalization, things are far from fair. I've been kicked out of school. Um, I've been, you know, uh, kind of left to the side. I've been arrested. Without a doubt, the, the most glaring thing is the fact that we are one of the only states with no social equity policy at a state level. According to an ACLU report in 2020, black people were over three and a half times more likely to be arrested for marijuana possession. That's the same racial disparity from a decade before. And that's why cannabis oversight city councils are saying we need investment. They want $2.7 million for these programs for restorative justice. All that would come from taxing of cannabis. More on that coming up in the next 30 minutes on Coin News AM Extra. Reporting live in Portland this morning, Emma Jerome, Coin 6 News. All right, Emma, thank you. Well, tomorrow